Hey Scrappers, Moose here. So in this video we're going to be taking apart an electric organ. Um, now, I just picked this up yesterday with the hopes of actually getting it to work. Uh, however, there's a lot of parts that don't work on it. Um, and because of its age, there's no way I'll be able to get it working. So, the first thing you want to do with these old electric organs is go on eBay and Sorry, it's the 4th of July, fireworks everywhere. Um, go on eBay and look up the brand, which on this one is Hammond, and look up the model number and see what things are going for for parts. Now, on this one, you can see this is one of the really old tube ones. Those tubes, those are worth money if they still work. Now, with, with this, I mean, basically everything works except for the keyboard. So. Um, most of the stuff I'll be able to sell on eBay for parts and I've already looked it up and some of these things are like that piece right there that back panel is going for about hundred to 150 bucks the speakers I can get twenty dollars each for them um, that transformer thing down there I forget what the name of it is uh, that's going for about 50 60 bucks and the other piece over there is, is going for about 50 bucks as well so I mean we're looking at like three hundred dollars in parts here um, which is way more than scrap value, so definitely make sure you check that out before you start ripping it apart. Now, if you are going to take it apart, I'm going to um, just point out some of the, the key things here. You're going to have, so first of all, you're going to have the, this huge transformer here, which is going to have copper in there, um, you know, a bunch of wiring as well. These speakers. Uh, have big magnets in them. Uh, that's going to be you know, ferrous material. All of these little things over here, are, those are all transformers. Um, so those will go in the copper bearing motor pile. Yes, I know they're not actually motors. Um, and up here, same thing. You're going to have all of these the little transformers. Another big transformer over there. And um, as far as in the blast tubes, I don't really know what's in them. I haven't been able to find anything as far as like any precious metal value or any other metal value in them so I can't really speak to that too much but we have that then if we go around the front underneath these keys there's supposed to be some big you know chunks of silver in there under each one because each one is, is you know technically a switch as well as behind all of these as well now since this is the part that doesn't work, this is the part I'm going to scrap. Everything else I'm going to take apart carefully and you know, try and sell for parts. And deal with the mosquitoes around here. Alright, now also what you want to make sure is, you know, when you get these electric organs, oftentimes it'll have pedals down here that are brass. So if it's not working, you know, make sure you remove those and check them, make sure they're brass and make some extra money with that. And that's pretty much it. Now all these pieces, um, if you're eBay savvy, if the stuff is in good condition, like even these legs, you can sell these legs on eBay if you remove them carefully. Um, yeah, so you know, be creative. You know, the simplest thing to do to do would be to go on eBay and just type in, you know, Hammond model um, S6 is what this organ is, and then under the filters select sold items so you can see what everything related to this has sold for. It gives you an idea of you know what the value of different parts are and the names of parts which is also really helpful. So you can you know pull things off carefully and you know, sell accordingly. So that's it for the beginning of this. What I'm going to do is once I'm, I've done taking everything apart I'm going to uh, finish off the video with what I've got what I'm going to post on eBay and um, Hopefully show you where there's some bits of silver and stuff. So, see you in a few. Alright, so I pulled off some of the main components of that organ. Um, I'm going to be posting those on eBay. And I've got you know, a couple of the speakers here. I transform with the tube. All the tubes are worth some money. Um, I, I gotta say though, yeah, there, there's a good bit of copper in here, probably a good three or four pounds. Um, there's a lot of these little, um, all these little bits of copper in them. I'm not exactly sure what they are. They just look like a little electromagnet. Um, but there, 
this is the bucket that I have of other crap, some wire and stuff. Maybe a couple pounds of wire. That was about it. One thing that you know a lot of my viewers have told me to look out for was silver in there. Um, I heard stories of big nuggets of silver and, and all that kind of stuff. Well, I gotta say I'm kind of disappointed because on every single switch, every key, um, at least on this one anyway, everything was copper and brass. I, I checked absolutely everything uh, for silver and wasn't able to find anything. The only thing that I'm curious about are these metal rods that um, they went the length of the keyboard behind the keys and they're non-magnetic they are um, you know, I filed them down, they're, they're not brass, they're not copper I'm not quite sure what they are I don't think they're aluminum so I'm going to test these further and you know there's a possibility that they're silver, but because this is like a 50 to 60 year old organ and there's absolutely no tarnish on these, it kind of makes me doubt that. Um, but we'll find out soon enough. Alright, so that's scrapping an organ. Um, there's you know, a lot of you know, little copper bearing motors, which, yes, I know, they're not actually motors, they're transformers and electromagnets and all that other stuff, but, you know, scrappers know what I'm talking about. Um, there's a lot of little bits of brass, um, a couple pieces of aluminum, mostly steel, though, and wood. <laughs> so this is this is the first organ that I've scrapped, um, and, and it was okay. Um, the worst part is you know, it's a heavy brute, so if you're going to be loading this into your truck by yourself, you know, take your time. Um, Make sure you have like a wench or, or something to make it a little bit easier. Well, I actually had a hand putting it in the truck, so that, that was that was good. Um, but yeah, they're, they're on Craigslist all the time for free. People are getting rid of them. And they have parts that are fairly easy to remove to sell on eBay to make some extra money. And um, that's about it. So if you have any questions, if there's anything I missed, comment, like, subscribe. See you on the next one. Scrap app website, download the app, post a price, then send me a message and tell me who you are, where you're from, and how you got into scrapping. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. We got some great bumper stickers from the folks over at iScrap app and Rockway Recycling. Some awesome t shirts, bright green that'll make sure you don't get run over. We got Scrap Army t shirts. They have some general safety gear brand new pair of gloves, safety glasses, got a magnet, a couple of other smaller magnets from the folks at Rockway Recycling. We've got the RBF Industries wire stripper, which is an awesome simple to use wire stripper, great for power cables. We've got some gut scrap bumper stickers from Matthew Green. TNT Tooling sent me some of his, some of their WSA wire strippers. We've got four of those to give away. And their $250 WSX wire stripper. All you got to do is mount it and hook your drill up to it. I've got a 130 piece tool kit with case and an awesome tool bag from the folks at Rockway Recycling.